Alright guys, you know when you go buy a tarantula from a pet store, they always seem to mislabel anything. They always call it the zebra tarantula, but you don't know what kind of zebra it is. You know, it could be the Thai zebra, the Hapopama abostriatum, it could be the Acemani, or it could be the E. capristratus. So this video is going to kind of give you the differences between the Phonopama simani and the U. palustris campristratus. Uh, the pink zebra beauty for the Capristratus and the Costa Rican zebra for the AC Mani. And granted they do look similar but they're really different in appearance and stuff. Okay so here is the Phonopama Simani, the Costa Rican zebra. So what you see here is an adult female. Uh, this species comes from uh, Guatemala because this is the blue morph. So I'm just going to draw her out a bit, see if she will come. Yeah, she started to shake hairs at me. Come on. Yeah, she doesn't seem to like it. Okay, so the important differences of the Afono Palma Simon, actually really wanted her to do that. <laughs> As you note, uh, this won't come out clear, you have an orange underside. So this is characteristics of the AC Mani. And you also have the orange spinnerets, which are located right about here. So this is one way to tell uh, that's an AC Mani. And th this is an adult size. It's not very huge. You only get up to having a 4 or 5 inch leg span. Very similar to your G. rosean size. So temperaments are really different, um, very, very skittish, and you can see some of them can actually be very defensive, like you just saw that. So that's what an AC Mani generally looks like. Alrighty, so now this is the Eupalestris Capristratus, the pink zebra beauty. And you can see it kind of looks very similar, but there's a lot of differences that you can see. Well, one thing you note is that it doesn't have the orange spinnerets, so that's definitely not an AC Mani. And you could tell just the way the hind legs are, you can see how thick they are, almost like a uh, Scytheraceus crochet. That's another way to tell uh, from an AC Mani for an Ecamber Stratus. And when you look at her underside, uh, let me just uh, pick her up. Oops. Alright, and here's the underside of the E. Campistratus. Note that it's not as orange as the A. Simani. Pretty different. And you can see this Bermathiki right here. So this is a female. And she kind of destroyed her habitat, so I'm going to go fix her up. But note, she's not that bad in temperament. It may be a little skittish, but she can be quite calm. Hey, you. Pretty cool. And there we have it. There's another one that also can be very similar to the AC Mani and the Ecamper Stratus, so let me go fish that one out. Another tea that may be sold as a zebra might be the Gramasola pull stripes. And it looks kind of similar from the untrained eye because they do have zebra like patterns on their legs, but they're really different. Chaco is really get up to having an 8 inch leg span, and they are black and don't have the orange undersides or orange spinnets. They're just typical of your Grandma Zola genus. So, I just wanted to make this video so you know the differences between the G pull stripes, the AC Mani, and the E Campistratus. So, hope you enjoy this video.